In this video, I'm going to walk you through your new trips view experience and show you how to create a new trip by adding itineraries, proposals, forms, and decisions. Now we're redefining what a trip is in Travify. Previously, you could only associate one itinerary or one proposal as a trip, but now you can have multiple itineraries and multiple proposals, as well as forms and decisions, keeping everything organized as you work in one place. This is going to be so helpful for streamlining proposal and quote options, group trips, and so much more. So when you're ready to get started with a new trip, you're just going to click the new trip button in the top left hand corner and you can decide is it with an itinerary or a proposal. From there, you will have that new trip view expanded where you then can come and click the add new button in the bottom middle and this way you can also add more. So if you want to add more itineraries or proposals, form decision, you can do that right in that area. Now, when you want to edit something like an itinerary or a proposal, all you have to do is just go ahead and click on it. And then over here on the right, you can click the edit button. That is going to bring you back into that itinerary and proposal builder that you already know. And now to go back out to my trips, I'm just going to click the trips button top left hand corner here. And now you can see again, I'm back in this trip view for the Smith family reunion. Now, a couple of things to highlight here is you can see all the activity for all of this trip right in here. So you can see if I toggle to a different trip, you can see all the activity happening right in here. You can also see the people that are associated with this trip as well. You can also add your tasks and automations. And something new is you can now include private or internal notes. So you can always add your own notes in here that only you and any of your team members can see. One other great thing about this is if you ever need to archive a trip or if you need to archive something you have, all you have to do is click on that item and then click the three dots over on the right and click archive. This will allow you to seamlessly go ahead and clean up this trip, but still allow you to see what you've previously archived in there. Now let's start with a new trip to walk through this together. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click new trip at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and make it an itinerary. From here, I can go ahead and add in the title for this trip. And then another thing that's really great is you can add labels. So if you ever want to add labels to better organize all of your trips, you can do that very easily. Another thing I can do is now that I've started with this itinerary, I can still come in and again, I can edit this very easily, just like I had before. And I can go ahead and, you know, add my details, like a photo, the dates, the information, all of that good stuff in there. But again, to go back out, I'm just going to click back out of my trips here and go back into this main trip view for Susie's birthday cruise that we're creating. Now, when I'm back in this view, I now can add more items to this trip. Since this is a group trip, I can instead create one primary itinerary or proposal and copy and use that as a template to create additional itineraries or proposals. Let me show you a couple ways you can do this. First, you can always click the add new button and then choose that you want to add an itinerary and choose from previously saved itineraries that you already have. So I have one in here, so I can go ahead and add this one right there. And now you can see this is automatically pulled in and I can go and edit from here and I can add as many of these as I want in there. Another option you can do is you can also copy trips. So if you already started building an itinerary within this trip, you can always come over to the right hand side of this specific itinerary, click these three dots, and here's where you're going to have your options to copy to a new trip, an existing trip within this trip, and you also have other options that you typically would see here. And this is so helpful because if you are building a group's trip, this is going to be nice to have your multiple itineraries for groups all in the same trip in the same place. So from here, I can also go ahead and set up and send forms or decisions for proposals. Now to learn more about these tools, check out the short video tutorials. If you have any questions or feedback for trips, please share it with our team at professional at or by live chatting us from your account.